All right, so welcome everyone. It has been a very long time since I've created a video. Hopefully the audio on this is going to turn out okay. I'm in a new house I'm in the process of moving into. I have very little in this room, so there is an echo. But I want to go ahead and make this video to address a very common problem that I seem to be running into on my Discord server lately, and that is that people apparently don't know how to open a config file for a mod. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video just to have a nice little reference that I can point to so I don't have to explain the same thing over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, I'm using CurseForge, the Curse client here. It's, uh, I believe, the most popular option. I know not everyone uses it. and uh, But this is what I'm going to start off with as an example. And I will explain some possible differences here and there. But regardless of the launcher you're using, there's going to be a folder where your Minecraft instance is stored. So in this case, I've created a very simple mod pack here in Curse, which I've just called test1.18.2. I've used this to test a couple bugs and stuff. It's got silent gear and silent lib in it. The particular mods don't matter, but I am wanting to cover a particular config option here, so that's what we're working with. So anyway, in Curse, what you can do is push this button up here next to Play and click Open Folder. And this will bring up the folder for this mod pack. So you can see in my case, I've got a folder just called Curse on my C drive. Uh, and in there is an Instances folder, and then there's one for every mod pack I have. And I believe somewhere in Curse's settings, you can change where exactly this folder is, but I don't know off the top of my head. It's not really relevant for this tutorial anyway. But in here, regardless of your launcher, you'll see a very similar set of folders. So there's config, which is where the config files are. And I'd like to go ahead and point out a few other. There's crash reports. This is where crash report files are generated. If a mod author asks you for one of these, this is where they will be. The logs file contains your logs, so the latest.log is the most recent log file. You may also see a debug file here, debug.log, but not always. Usually it's just latest.log. The mods file, mods folder is where all of the mod jar files are stored. And saves is where your worlds are. So let's go ahead and take a look at config. In this case, I don't have too many mods, so there's not a lot of files here. But what you want to look for, if you're looking for a config for a specific mod, is the mod ID. is typically what will be the first part of the name, so silent gear in this case. And you'll see there are two files, a client and a common. And I'll go ahead and open up both of these. Okay. So client files typically have settings that just affect your client. So in the case of Silent Gear, there's some rendering related settings here. So if you want to enable the debugged enchanted glow effect, you could do that here. Just change this false to true. If you don't like the sound occasionally that tools occasionally make as they take damage, you change that to false and so on. Everything's got a comment above it that explains what it does. Now, if we look in the common file, there's a lot more settings here. So this is stuff that's not specific to your client. It's more like client and server. It's common to both. So I want uh, this particular setting, allow legacy material mixing. This is one that I get asked about a lot. So as the comment reads, allows parts to be crafted with mixed materials in a crafting grid, like in earlier versions. In 1.17, mixing is normally only allowed in compound crafting blocks. So 1.17 and higher, I guess is what that should say. So this will re-enable the old mixing feature that is no longer enabled by default. All the code for it is still there. All you have to do is change that to true and you can mix materials in the crafting grid like you used to be able to. And that's really all there is to editing a config file. You just have to make sure that you are entering values that are expected by the mod. So in case 
there's a number here. You can only enter a number. If you try to enter some other kind of value, like a string value like this, then, you know, things are not going to work, and it's probably just going to reset it to the default value. If it's false or true, then those are the only two values you can use there, true or false, Boolean values. Pretty self-explanatory. Sometimes you can only have integers or whole numbers, so don't enter a decimal point in that case. Some configs will expect specific strings of text, and in those cases, I always make sure those are included in com comments. So these AOE tool settings, which are for like hammers and excavators, these match modes only accept loose, moderate, and strict. And those are all explained up here. So just look at the config file, read the comments, not just a comment on the individual s settings, but on the categories above them. And those usually, usually, if the mod developer is doing their job well, will give you a good description of what they do. Okay, now before I end this video, let's go ahead and launch this and get the game running. I'm going to show one more way that you can access config files. Okay. I don't have a clue what I was doing with this world, doesn't matter. But the command I'm looking for is config show file. Then you enter the mod ID and then client common or server. Server files we didn't discuss, those are less common. Typically mods just have a common, maybe a client file. So let's go ahead and show the common. So. It pops up in chat, and that is a clickable link. If I click on that, it opens the file. Okay, so again, that con that command is just config show file, the mod ID, and then whichever config you want. Okay, so Forge actually has a server config. And that's got some settings in it. But I think I've uh, discussed everything I really need to here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and get this video edited so I can release it. So I hope this accurately described how to get to config files in most cases. Whatever launcher you may be using probably has an open folder option or something like this. It may be called open directory or show folder, show directory. Something along those lines. Either way, there's going to be a folder that is set up just like the one I showed. And that's where your config folder is going to be. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. And I'll see you later.